Semblance is a puzzle platformer in a very strange and squishy world. Basically, you can adjust the walls and platforms at your will by dashing into them. Since they're so squishy, it dents or moves the platform and creates new paths that were not possible before. But it's not just used for puzzling, it helps for the platforming too. It's a great concept that works pretty well. The way you can deform the world is pretty cool and gives some freedom to the player for solving the puzzles. At least to an extent, there are some limitations and it's definitely not as open-ended as you might expect. That said, it's quite an interesting idea. There are many different ways to squish the walls. Maybe you need to push the floor to create a hill that will make it easier to jump over a chasm. Other times you need to shift the platform to move a static item that's blocking your way. For example, there are lasers that you need to adjust so they shoot in a different direction. Shifting the platform under the laser changes the direction it is facing since it's stuck to the ground. Other than that, there are the basic puzzle elements. Some platforms are not malleable, and there are areas you can't dash in, making it a little bit more difficult to squish the platforms. At one point, you can even squish your own body, which is my favorite mechanic. Semblance doesn't get too advanced, as there are only a few ways you can move the platforms. They don't have an infinite stretch and can't be moved and squished at the same time. It's a weird limitation that severely limits how elaborate the puzzles can get. So if you shift the entire platform left, there's no way you can build a hill now. It's the same if you first try and create a hill, then want to move the platform. I can see how this would open up a lot of complications to creating the puzzles and let the users solve something in a strange way, but the reverse of that is that the puzzles end up very simple and only involve a limited amount of options for solving them. You can either just move the platform or squish the platform and neither of those things can be combined so the player can kind of just try everything. Another strange limitation is that once you hit a platform from one side, you can't hit it from the other side to change its shape. The puzzles also only fill up one screen at a time and can be brute force because of the limited choices. Still, I really enjoyed shaping the platforms. It's a lot of fun to just hit the walls and move them. They're so bouncy and squishy. It's just so much fun. Anyway, Semblance has platforming and requires some controller ability. It's not the most difficult platforming, but there are some tight jumps. The game is very generous in letting you retry though and puts you back at the start of the puzzle if you die. It even saves what you've done so far. So even if you mess up multiple times, it's very easy to try again. This contributes to being able to brute force the puzzles. It's so quick to retry that it's very easy just to keep trying different combinations until you discover the solution instead of solving it. But why are we even bothering? Well, you enter trees to collect orbs that push back what seems to me like a corruption. There's not really too much story to this. The world is open-ended too, which means you can freely move around and do the trees in whatever order you want. It's useful because even if you get stuck, you can move on and come back later. That way, no one can get stressed out about not being able to make progress. However, it really limits Semblance's mechanics. The game can't introduce anything that would build upon previous knowledge. There's no way for the developer to know if a player has seen a mechanic or not. It also can't unlock new required skills since you can play the game in any order. Semblance has to be designed as if every tree could be the player's first. There's nothing to unlock and the puzzles stay very simple throughout the entire game. This holds Semblance back from being a great game. However, that doesn't mean Semblance is easy. The puzzles are simple, but some of them can be a little bit tricky. There were a few I skipped over and went back to later to solve, but generally they're all on the easier side. 
The aesthetic of Semblance is great and cohesive. The minimal color choice for each level works really well and makes it obvious which parts of the world hurt you. The devs worked hard to make it simple for the player to understand what platforms are malleable and which ones are not. There was never any confusion. I'm sure a lot of effort went into the color palette. A nice consequence of choosing to have an open world. The design of the game needs to be obvious in all places. Overall, Semblance is a really awesome idea that is limited by the choice for an open world. The concept is great and the puzzles work really well with the platforming. It's going to be a pretty short experience though with only the three worlds. Semblance is what indie games are all about, giving unique ideas a stage and I'm loving that part of it. For the whole product, I'm feeling just okay though. I like Semblance, but I don't think they took the mechanic far enough. It's a very surface level implementation. I don't understand why there are so many rules for adjusting the platforms. Semblance is going to find a niche audience that likes playing with the unique mechanics. And for those people, they'll love it. Thanks for watching.